On the Opie and Anthony show, we're going to make fun of people with Down syndrome. I just didn't want to be in the middle of the flight and have him yank that handle hoping candy comes out and blow the door off the plane. We all get sucked out except for him because his head gets stuck. The Opie and Anthony show. Let's uh, start off with Bruno. Bruno, what's going on? Oh, hey, what's up, boys? Hey. How are you? You guys watched the show last night at uh, HBO Bob Costas? Did we watch? Of Big course. Man. Did we watch? What, what, what was going on? I thought it was great. I thought it was hysterical, yeah. man. I, 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 we were laughing so hard in the back office. We watched it today before the show. Uh, to see Vince McMahon put Bob Costas in his place, uh, you, you can't you can't buy better entertainment than that. Leaning forward, shut your mouth. Change your shorts after the show. What do you think? Bob Costas, what a little wimp. Well, he was he was all tough. He was going to ask all the tough questions. Yeah, and he didn't. He wasn't ready for the answers. Now, was he? Guys, at, one one point, at one point, at one point, Bob Costas is backing up in his chair because Vince is getting at his face. Let me ask you one, one question though. Yeah. yeah. Bob Costas, he asked McMahon about the game they show, the pre the pregame show. Yeah, yeah, we got audio of that. And at first, McMahon's like, "No, nah, there isn't one." Then he goes, "Yeah, but in week one, there was a show." Right. And then Vince is like, "Oh yeah, he kind of backpedaled." That's all right. What's Wait, the... but here's the deal: if the show was at the WWF uh, restaurant, right? So how can McMahon backpedal? Yeah, but Vince McMahon's not really involved with the WWF uh, WWF restaurant. That, there's a lot. There's a lot to it. We'll get into it. It was, uh, yeah, it was an NBC's show. It really it was. Wait, wait, Vince, wait, wait, let me ask you. Vince, Vince answered the question honestly. He, uh, mm -hmm. it is a local show put on by NBC that affiliates picked up, and uh, and Vince did not see the pregame show. We even when, asked him when we had him on uh, and interviewed him in week what three I think yeah. mm -hmm. of XFL pregame. He he told us to our face he hasn't seen the show. Uh, I thought he was the one that picked you guys out though. Uh, that's what we heard. That's what we heard. I don't, think right. he, I don't think he ever saw it, though. <laughs> Whatever. He, he, de he definitely did not see XFL game day, because we asked him to his face uh, week three, and he, and he told us he hasn't seen it yet. It's on right. film. So I, I thought Vince We're was uh, leaving you guys hanging for a little bit by dying, by, uh, dying all that. Nah. Vince has his own problems. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't need us alongside of those. And I, I just think after, after uh, what he did to uh, Bob Costas, I think it was great. I like the part where he leaned forward and, and like almost strangled, like he pointed his finger at the guy. I thought he wanted to strangle Bob. It was it was great, Bruno. I mean, you know, the fact is, you know, XFL Game Day wasn't setting the world on fire, so we're not, hey, hey, we're hey. not going to sit here and, and be insulted. You know, it's okay. It, it it was what it was. We had fun doing it. It wasn't as bad as Bob Costas would like to think it was. I actually uh, denied any knowledge of the show <laughs> in an interview last week. <laughs> I did. Nice. But uh, I mean, more uh, more importantly, just to see Vince McMahon put down Bob Costas was great. Yeah, that was awesome. I mean, Bob Costas, you know, I mean, Vince said it all. I mean, we have some clips. We'll play it for you, just in case you missed it on HBO last night. It was great TV. Uh, yeah, Bob Costas came into the interview without uh, doing his research. Mm -hmm. He's talking about suck it and 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 uh, crotch, uh, crotch grabbing. grabbing and yelling suck it. That 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 made him look so out of touch. Here you got Vince McMahon on your on your program. You're gonna interview him. I mean, at least do your research. Like Vince said, they haven't done that in over a year. Yeah. yeah the, the Vince just like Bob. We even said that for a year and a half. What, right. what are you talking about? Right. And I, when when uh, Bob Costas, you know, uh, uh, stated that to Vince McMahon, I'm screaming at the TV in the back office like, Oh my God! You know, WWF ha hasn't done that in over a year, year and a half. Yeah. Uh, and I'm so glad. Obviously, Vince, you know, picked up on it and slammed Bob. All right, guys, listen, good show. I'm going to go listen to myself. All right. Later, suck guys. it. <laughs> hangs up. Is, cool. that, is that Bob Costas doing suck it? Suck it. <laughs> All right. Suck it. We, suck it. We could suck probably it. find him saying. Suck it. Suck it. Suck I like to. Suck it. Suck it. <laughs> nice. All right, where's the audio of uh, Vince talking about XFL game day, something that it not, Anthony and I was hosting? All right. Here it is. The XFL doesn't go anywhere near where the WWF goes. That it's a low rent form of Have you television. Seen any of the games tell me what is low rent. Not so much within the games. The pregame show, especially week one, we don't have was, was one of the shows. most mindless things I've ever seen. <laughs> Thank you. Pregame show. Week one, there was a pregame show. We don't have any pregame shows, which is one of any our more? problems. No, we've never had a pregame. What was the pregame show that aired in Los Angeles, in New York, and in other markets a half hour prior to the? First that was game. a local thing that the NBC O and O's put together, of which we had nothing to do with. <laughs> <laughs> a little distance there, Vince. A little distance, but you know there is no, there no, there never was a, a game day show. Yeah, but it was a show that was uh, produced locally. 
Yeah, I'm but sure. he did know of that because he said there never was. Did he? Didn't he say there never was in that clip? <laughs> Come on, Vince. <laughs> never was. Fess up. Yeah, there, there was a pregame show. We're trying to get Vince McMahon on our show, and there's a good possibility it's going to happen next week. So yeah, we'll, we'll talk, ask him some of these questions. We'll talk to him about it. So I right. want him to put his finger in my face and go, "You shut your mouth." <laughs> right. You want to hear some more audio? Of course. Bob Costas interviewing Vince McMahon. Uh, this is uh, the, the, uh, Bob talking about maybe fixing the football games because the XFL is uh, so bad right now. Right. right. To Bob Costas. If you could be guaranteed that it would increase ratings, would you fix the games? Would I fi what a ridiculous statement. What? It's not a statement. It's a question. It's a question. I beg your pardon. It's a question. No. It's either football or it's not. Now, if it's entertainment, then no different than I did, you know, a long time ago. You know, when my predecessors tried to pawn off that wrestling was sport years ago, you know, I mean, that's And absurd. you came out and said it's sports entertainment and entertainment. the matches are staged. Right. Absolutely. So how could you possibly script a football game? You know, I, I you know, boy, you're giving me credit for a lot of talent that I, I don't think I have. Okay. I mean, it was like, I mean, you have to catch the ball. I mean, you know, I mean, you have to run with the ball. You, you know, you can't script football it's a great point really like oh well, could you fix the game when you're gonna fix a, a, a pass you're gonna need some great actors to fix football games. yeah he's got to catch the ball he's got to be able to run you know it was it was so good to see Bob Costas looking like a complete tool he is such... he was unprepared he's on his high horse he thinks he's the moral friggin uh, leader of sports now is that is that his place Let's go to Lewis. Lewis, what's up? Yo, dudes, I watched that interview last night, and the one thing that busted my rear end was McMahon just out and out not admitting that he had anything to do with that. <laughs> I mean, granted, maybe NBC uh, put it all together, but the guy knew about your show. What, the pregame show? Yeah, the pregame show. Oh, we'll ask him for ourselves. Yeah, yeah that, that just blew me away. But, you know, I, I, I think, I'm starting to think that Vince is getting a too wrapped up in the character that he plays. Because he was like bending forward, like you shut up or I'll tear your head off. It was, you know what though? But the, was it a character, Lewis? It Bob Costas was scared assless. He, he had oh, yeah. that look Costas on his face. Turned whiter than a freaking KKK hood. Uh, you ever been in school? This is a perfect example. You ever been in school? You have the kid, like the nerdy kid, that uh, finally stands up to the big bully guy, mm -hmm. but gets his ass beat anyway. <laughs> and, and he's got that look on his face, and he's so scared, but he's got to go through with it. That was Bob Costa's face. He looked, whenever they went back to his face, when Vince pulled his chair up and got right in his face, he had this scared look. look but uh, it's my show, so I, I got to kind of keep going. He keeps but I am going. so scared that he's just going to pop me with his coffee cup. <laughs> that, that Bob Costa should have realized that if Vince wanted to, you know, uh, rape him, he would have. Right. And he there was nothing Bob would, would have been able to do. Bend him over his little God, chair. God, I loved that last night. Yeah, that was... That and, was... And, 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 Lewis, you talk about characters. Let's say Bob Costas is talking to De Niro, and De Niro plays that tough character and gets in his face. Mm -hmm. At least Costas would be able to say, well, it's De Niro, and he's, you know, he's doing a little character thing, you know? Yeah, but... No, no, man, man. He... We've, we've seen Vince McMahon. That is the real Vince McMahon. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. When you get him pissed off, he fights back, and that's what I love about him. He's a son of a bitch! <laughs> so. Yeah, it was a cool interview. It just, it just the only thing that really stuck me in the side that it, is that he turned over on you guys. Well, we'll ask him about it. Yeah, yeah you got to talk to Trump about that. The things that that are true are, are it was an NBC show. NBC got together with the affiliates and thought it would be a good lead-in to have something XFL related for their uh, broadcasts. It wasn't an, uh, a WWF or a Vince McMahon and, and, uh, show. And we should explain it further, too. It was only supposed to be shown in New York. Yeah. So, I mean, the XFL, obviously, all over the country. And New York decided, well, this might be a cool little thing to help out the New York market. We'll do a yeah. little pregame show before the game. But the fact that there was never a pregame show or he doesn't know of a pregame show, right. th that's bull. Yeah, that's that's, that, that just, I, I stood there for like a minute with my mouth wide open but and this, said, you lying little sack. But, but, but Lewis, you got to see the, the overall picture here, okay? Once oh, again, yeah, yeah. No, 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 hear me out, because, I mean, I know you like to joke around and stuff, but let me give you some facts, okay? Mm -hmm. The XFL pregame show was, uh, was shown in six to eight markets, tops, okay? Mm -hmm. The XFL games themselves were shown in every state in America and, and overseas and all that. 
All right, it's a, the much greater picture. Technically, there was no real pregame show for for the XFL. <laughs> there was no pregame show. Yeah, you know what amazes me? There is was one in a few markets, but you know. You know what amazes me is that Costas, along with all those other empty suit jackasses, couldn't see beyond. Uh, it was a screwed up pregame show. It was the p most pathetic joke I ever saw. I mean, please, they didn't get it, it because was, it I wasn't what they would do. It wasn't that bad. Uh, and and I and I personally thought that the show rocked. I personally thought that they're a bunch of jackasses for not giving it a chance. Cool. You know, you can't expect something to be successful. You know, much in line with what McMahon said, you can't expect something to succeed in just four or five weeks. I mean, come on. Right. Right on. All right, Lewis, tools. Thank you. Hey, you can't do it. We, we have more audio. This is uh, this is when it really gets heated last night. Bob Costas and Vince McMahon. Yes. Uh, quickly, uh, instant feedback. Wasn't Vince? On one of the clips in the pregame show. Yeah, Vince was on one of the pregame shows that never existed. <laughs> Friggin' Vince, man. Well, I love, you know what? I love the guy. You gotta love him, though. I mean, the attitude, where are you gonna get an interview like this? When you do this type of radio, you gotta appreciate someone like Vince McMahon that pushes the envelope. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We'll, we'll ask him for ourselves, because there's a very good possibility he'll be on the show next week. Yep. Dave, what's up? Hey, Dave. Hello. What's up? All right. Uh, am I the only person that thought Vince McMahon was going to punch Bob Costas in the face? No, everyone did. Everyone thought. I was waiting for something like that. He... Especially when he shook his hand. He started grabbing his hand. I mean, look how big uh, Vince McMahon is compared to Bob Costas. Oh, you know when the whole thing ended and they shook hands and Vince just squeezed down. Oh, yeah, I know. I, was, I thought it was one of the most hilarious things Man. I've ever seen in my life. But Dave... got soft hands from counting money all his life. And Dave, you know what was cool about that? It would have been really cool to see Bob Costas take a shot to the face. Oh, yeah, right? But Vince destroyed him with his words, which oh, I thought yeah, of was course. great. But yeah. what really made me, like, think about it, like, uh, how Bob Costas was, uh, like, saying that, that whatever, that murder about the kid trying out the wrestling moves, mm -hmm. I, I, sorry, but I don't think that's feasible I'll, at all. Oh, we'll get to that. That's, uh, that was a big part of the interview last night. Thank you. I know. Man. It was one of the parts that I, like, I thought that Bob Costas was trying to, like, put words into Vince's mouth so he could say it back to him so right. he seems like he's the right person. Right. Thanks, Dave. All right, thanks a lot. We do, we do have that clip of the, the kid in Florida. Okay, here's uh, Vince really going ahead with Costas. If this turns out to be a grand-scale failure, mm -hmm. what impact will that have on you? Well, you know, I get knocked on my keister, I dust myself off, and I get back up. What do you mean what impact is going to have on me? I'm going to do the very best I can every single day. I'm a fighter, okay? I enjoy fighting, by the way. So I, I like to fight. <laughs> and he gets right in his face when he said that, too. Yeah. The look he gave him. Yeah. Uh, and then uh, Costas went into the whole WWF thing. This is really good. No oh, idea. Oh, it starts off with the clip of uh, Trish. Yeah. Just, just in case you haven't been following the WWF uh, lately, Trish. Uh, suck it up to Vince McMahon. We'll do pretty much anything that Vince uh, asks just to get herself some more popularity in the WWF. Uh -huh. And uh, this is what went down on a recent uh, episode of the WWF. No idea how far I would degrade myself for the right cause. I would do anything for you, Mr. McMahon. Get on your hands and knees like a dog. You want to prove your loyalty to me, right? Now take your blouse off, Trish. Come on. Take it off now. What kind of man is, is this? It's a hero. I came to watch this to be seen, and I'm going to get to see points. I'm wondering what color panties you're wearing tonight, Trish. <laughs> you're sorry. Take your bra off and take it off now. Now, I should point out that, in fact, she did not remove her bra. You removed your sports jacket and draped it over her because perhaps you wouldn't want to do anything that would be because in, I'm the in bad gentleman, taste. right? No, I would never want to do anything in bad taste. What's the possible justification for what we just saw? It's part of a storyline. What you see is a soap opera. Bravo. Okay? Now, you take me in, out of the XFL world, okay? Now, let's take Vince. Let's find not... Uh, you know, some of the other material which you could present 
you know, from World Wrestling Federation Entertainment. Let's find the most salacious, out of character kind of thing you can possibly put. Let's edit it and put it right well, up here. Not no, no, every no, no. moment is like that, but no. enough moments are like that for it to be fairly typical. Crotch grabbing, people grabbing their crotches, pointing in that direction, and saying, suck it. Eleven. All right, let's stop right there. That's, uh, this is when I'm screaming at the TV. I'm like, Bob, you didn't even do your research. They haven't yeah. done this in the WWF in well over a year. Unbelievable. He's so out of touch. He, he, and you're going to do a story on the guy, at least know what the product is that he has out there right now. And that ain't it. The current product. I got to say, the current product, that Trish thing, is great. We were just watching it. Probably one of the hottest moments on the show ever. I mean, she looks great taking that off. And the people are going insane that's what it's all about. Bob Costas doesn't realize, oh, holier than thou, Bob Costas. It was very titillating. <laughs> like, he wouldn't enjoy looking at, at that. What, uh, what male in this country, unless you're gay, wouldn't enjoy looking at Trish half naked? She had a little friggin' thong on, that black bra. It looked great. It what was, guy wouldn't want to see that? Bob Costas. It, it was a bathing suit, too, basically. Or... Yeah. Close to a bathing suit. Bob never uh, looked at a Playboy. Bob never uh, spanked one out to something. But he, does, he doesn't think it should be on TV. Anthony. Oh, please. Why not? It's what people want to see. Jackass. It's, it's a simple concept. If you don't like what you see or hear, right. Just turn it off. Turn it off. Oh, and a 12-year-old kid well, you know in what, the audience, Bob, you have a watch. Nice behavior. You know, hang on a second. Don't don't make me raise my voice here. I don't want to do that with you, okay? Uh, even though you're doing it with me. If you want to play that way, boy, I can play, okay? Yeah. But when you get in a situation that you don't know what you're talking about because you don't watch, okay? You're no different than the Phil Mushnick who's some sort of moralist out there you know, who writes about stuff, and he doesn't watch either, okay? Phil Mushnick. Phil. F and Phil. Now, Phil makes it uh, a career. Just laying into Vince and the XFL and the WWF, and uh, he's another hypocrite. Look at look at the paper Phil Mushnick's in. I enjoy reading it. It's the New York Post. A lot of fun. Phil is obsessed with Vince McMahon. Writes uh, writes an article on him once a once a week, Anthony. Yeah, all just bashing and bashing the uh, sex that's in there he's and the a, violence. He's and... attacked us in our radio show as well. Yeah, and the pregame show. And if you look at his articles uh, in the Post. Many times, there's, there's ads for strip clubs r right on the same page as his column. And, and gambling sites and stuff. I mean, all the stuff that he criticizes for being on TV and everything else is right there in the newspaper. You know, what do you think? Uh, some of those pictures that they uh, uh, post in the post are, are there because uh, they fit the story or because the chick's cans are hanging out? Okay. And why doesn't he go to the post and go, you know, I will not work here because this paper uh, has things in it that are against my belief. Because he enjoys his paycheck too of much. Of course he does, a hypocrite tool jack off. Those those pictures are, are there for one reason, to sell newspapers. Look at that. I saw it. He, he should, he should clean up clubs. He should clean up his own backyard. You know? No, he's too busy uh, getting on uh, Vince and you know, other forms of entertainment that the majority of uh, people and men enjoy watching for sexual content and, and action and whatever else it is. That's just the way we are. But he's too high and mighty, but not high and mighty enough to go to his bosses and say he doesn't want to ask for strip clubs on, on the, uh, the same thing. The same page that his articles appear. <laughs> Let's see. Flash dancers ad right there. Nice. Good. Private Eyes Sports Cabaret, the upscale gentleman's club right there. Slow dancing, table dancing, and more. All nude. There you go. Our adult fantasy playroom is open. Nice. Right there in the uh, post-sports section where uh, Phil Mushnick resides. There's enough smut going on right around you. Not that I mind. Don't get me wrong. Not that I mind at all. I will, I will frequent these clubs. I don't care. But, but but what a hypocrite. But clean up your own backyard first. Sure, you're upset with this whole thing? Quick. Run to your bosses. Oh, what's the matter? The paycheck. Oh, that's right. Whoops. Phil Mushbrain, jerk off, ass C. And then when someone reads something that, you know, someone else writes. These things don't happen? 
They haven't had you. You want to let me finish here for a second, pal? I'm asking you the question. Then, then, coach, Hello. shut your mouth and let me answer the question, all right? I'll be happy to answer. Go ahead and answer it. Good. Shut so you got mouth. a situation where you don't watch. Come on. How good is that? How can we rewind that? He tells him to shut his mouth. How great is that? I love when these holier-than-thou guys get put in their place. Oh. Oh, you just screwed it up. All right, hold on. Now it's going to take a minute. Shut your mouth. Let me let me go to the phones while Rick gets that uh, that part of the tape. Come on, how good is Sal? Shut that radio off. Sal. Yeah. All right, listen. Everyone on hold, you got to shut down, shut your radio off. That's a delay you're uh, you're listening to. Uh, Sal, what's going on? Yeah, Sal, how you doing? All right. Uh, you know, it's funny that you mentioned it. You know, uh, news does the same thing. They 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 criticize. Uh, McMahon and wrestling and everything, and then uh, you know you turn the page over right by the uh, the box scores, and they got the uh, all the nudie balls and stuff. You know, it's uh, it's it's a bunch of ball. They're hypocrites. Yeah. In the interview, Vince said one thing about me is I'm brutally honest. Right. I like that in a person. He knows what he is. He knows what he's doing, and he tells you. He'll tell yeah. you himself. Thanks, you know, Sal. Cut. Hello. Sal, come on. Get with the program. All right, here's uh, here's uh, Vince going after Bob again. There, you know, who writes about stuff, and he doesn't watch either, okay? And then when someone reads something that, you know, someone else writes... These things don't happen? They haven't happened? You, you want to let me finish here for a second, pal? I'm um, asking okay, you the pal. Then, then, <laughs> coach, shut your mouth and let me answer the question, all right? I'll be happy to answer. Go ahead. Good. So you got a situation where you don't watch... We haven't done I have watch watched. grabbing. We haven't done that in over a year. We haven't done the suck it chant, as you talk about, in about a year and a half. But there, you did Bob. it. Oh, at one time, it was part of the show. Absolutely. You did it. Yeah. You know, and you know what? This show that, we're, that you're on right now, mm -hmm. what, precede, what, what, what precedes this show? The Sopranos in this particular Amen. case. Amen. Mm -hmm. Another hypocrite. Hypocrite. Yeah. Clean up your own backyard. How about uh, sex in the city? How about real sex? How about... Uh, Oh, my God, those real sex shows, you just see guys junk all over the place. A lot worse than you ever see on WWF. Why doesn't Bob go, hey, you clean up this HBO? You're missing the obvious. And if he you're gets missing, into a... You're missing the obvious. What? Oz. Oz. G-string divas. I mean, and, and if he tries to push the whole thing, oh, well, people have uh, basic cable, uh, but they don't have HBO. Do you know anyone that's got cable and doesn't have HBO? I don't know anybody. And you could parental lock any channel you want. What an ass wipe. I hate these people. We haven't done I have watched, grabbing. We haven't done that in over a year. We haven't done the suck it chant, as you talk about, in about a year and a half but there, you did Bob. It. Oh, at one time, it was part of the show. Absolutely. You did it. Yeah. You know, and you know what? This show that, we're, that you're on right now, mm -hmm. what, precede, what, what precedes this show? The Sopranos in this particular Amen. case. Amen. Mm -hmm. uh, how many times do you hear the word <laughs> soprano that was great right. like show mm -hmm. okay it's a soap opera right all right that's what we do in the entertainment world we're a soap opera bob come on and if you've ever watched soap opera even on daytime television compare that with also hbo i love hbo but prior to uh uh the sopranos sex in the city's on how many orgasms were they? Okay, your stuff. So, your stuff is no, geared. My stuff is, is geared in large my, part you know, toward youngsters. My stuff. Toward young my stuff boys is geared for and a young broad men. demographic. Okay, a very broad demographic. And it's you want not to talk on a pay about, service about the, like HBO. It's, it's on cable. basic cable. Oh, right. okay. Basic cable, not a pay service oh, that's a like big HBO. Difference. Oh, it is, what's the stop. difference between that? There is no difference because when you buy your cable package, HBO's thrown in there with your basic cable. I don't know anybody that gets a cable service from Cablevision or Time Warner or whatever it is and doesn't get a pay services like HBO offered and, and takes the off. You don't just get regular channels. You get cable, you get HBO. It's right there to flick to just like any other channel. You could say, oh, it's a pay service. Get out of here. Everyone's got it. HBO is on cable. basic cable. Right. Okay. Basic cable, not uh, a pay service. Oh, that's like a big HBO. difference. It is a significant difference. No, I don't think People so. can say, people have said to me, I'd like to watch your show, but we don't have HBO in our home because we don't want this our kids awesome. channel it's, surfing it's, past it. It's real and simple. You know what? It's real simple. Them. On your channel surfing, go click. Anyone who doesn't want to watch World Wrestling Federation Entertainment, 
just turns it off. How easy is that? No, okay. one's, being, no one's being forced to watch it. The question okay. is, and if you're not being forced to watch is, it and people enjoy it, then why are you, you know, why are you on your high seat here, your high chair, with people who enjoy? Do you know? As a matter of fact, research will indicate that more families. You want to talk about the, the family hour type situation? Go ahead. Oh, this is going to, like, knock your socks off. Okay? All right. <laughs> ready for this one? I'm ready. Okay. Oh, In God. a situation where a television show brings the family together, meaning more than just one person watching TV, the most watched family-oriented program, entertainment-wise, not a sporting event because, like, the Super Bowl does, outdoes this and stuff mm -hmm. like that, is SmackDown on Thursday night on UPN. There you have it. There you go. There you have it. God, this was better than an orgasm, watching this last night <laughs> and today in the back office. I just loved uh, seeing Bob uh, cringe. Well, here's Bob cringing some more. We recognize what, what we're doing and who, and who the audience is. Because there is an audience for something doesn't right. justify it. There's an audience for pornography. Of there were audiences well, for minstrel yeah, shows. We're that doesn't about mean a the huge audience. Yeah, how many people you know enjoy on a global basis World Wrestling Federation Entertainment that aren't elitist like you? You know what? You know the as guy you on know, the street loves as you this stuff. Okay? As you personally know, I was you know a wrestling thing? fan for much of my life. I enjoyed the tongue-in-cheek type of soap opera that wrestling was, and it could still be that without the vulgarity, Don't without the mean spirit. It could be you know, without the mean hey, spirit. Listen, pal, you know what? You got your little show hose. back here, and, oh. and you get paid for doing your little show and bringing people out here and being some sort of you know highfalutin type guy. I'm down with that. That's cool because I I love freedom of expression. This is great. Okay, I like this. Mm -hmm. At the same time, you can't tell me how to run my business and what people want to see because if they wanted to see your kind, your kind of rustling you're talking about. That's what we would have out there, Bob. Okay? But as things progress, <laughs> as you make it more of a soap opera, or regress, uh, or devolve. Well, you, say, you can say regress, whatever you want. You, you know, or devolve, whatever you want. That's your prerogative. Just like it's your prerogative not to watch, okay? <laughs> God, he killed him. Bob should do his next show with a dress on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The Florida Kid stuff's really good. I know this is getting a little long, but... All cable is a pay service, isn't it? I mean, you're going through it, you're getting it's a pay service. My God. I know we're going a little long with this, but uh, he makes some great points. Recently in Florida, a 14-year-old boy has been on trial for killing a then 6-year-old girl using wrestling moves, which he saw on television. I don't know if for sure he saw them on the WWF, but he could have. And no one is saying, and there isn't research to back up any direct causal relationship between seeing that or seeing war movies, but does it give you pause at all you were to, to read something you know, you're like that? You're supposed to come here and know your stuff, okay? And if you're going to jump me and jump all over me, then you should have watched some of this. You should really know your facts. I've Bob, seen I'm disappointed. Vince, I've, I've seen none of it. Would you let me finish? Absolutely. What I'm going to say there, pal. Okay, with a big smile. <laughs> this, is, this is amusing. No, it's, it's amusing, amusing you. You're amusing me. Okay, good. It's we're your both, show. We're both amused. It's your show. So you know, you, you've got to have the forum here. I understand that. You know, I understood that when I came on. And I've given you okay. the forum as well. So to answer the question, if you stop interrupt me, let me answer, answer the questions here. You got a situation that you don't know what you're talking about. Is the child not on trial in Florida? No, the child's been convicted. Right. Yeah, he's a murderer. <laughs> an idiot. He doesn't even know the trial's <laughs> the over. The trial's over. <laughs> no, the child's been convicted. You're an ass. I have to tell you that. Ugh. And if you'd have done the slightest bit of research, you would have known, you would have known what the polling of the jury was, that this absurd notion that true. this child was practicing <laughs> wrestling maneuvers was a complete hoax. Let, let me finish. finish. That is a defense. Let me finish. They rejected that Would as a defense. Would you please let me finish? Absolutely. You know, <laughs> you are, well, you sure. You're not going to interrupt me. You let me finish. <laughs> Just because I inject something doesn't mean you're not going to have time to respond. You've got plenty of time to respond and continue. <laughs> what a move! I know this is radio, but what a move! God damn it. <laughs> You hear the, hear the ice tinkling in the glass? You can't learn stuff like this. It's Vince. It's classic so, Vince. So Bob finally lets him continue, and he decides he's going to take a long pause and take a drink of water. <laughs> take a drink of water after the whole, and don't interrupt me thing, let me finish. 
Bob Costas like, okay. You and can't... then he slowly picks his glass up and takes a drink. You can't learn this anywhere <laughs> in school, nowhere. Your parents aren't going to teach you this. You either Classic. have it or don't. Watch. Classic. Listen to this. Just because I inject something doesn't mean you're not going to have time to respond. You've got plenty of time to respond and continue. To the jury. <laughs> and he slams down the glass of water. What a smart ass. What a oh. fucking smart ass. God. I, I hope you realize how brilliant that is. You can feel that pause. You, you can't, feel it. You can't <laughs> So the jury says, sure, we not only we reject it, this had nothing to do with the murder of this child. As a matter of fact, from a defense standpoint, the attorney didn't even raise that defense for quite some time That's after what I'm the saying. incident. Now then, take it one step further and listen to what the judge had to say. The judge had to say the same thing, that this was an absurd hoax, this whole wrestling theory. This child, the six-year-old child, didn't die because there was horseplay. The six-year-old child died because of the brutality of the 12-year-old, I believe, at the time. Mm -hmm. There was no practicing rustling maneuvers, and you can't fool a jury and or a judge. And they all said that this was absolutely an absurd notion, should not have been raised to begin with. So those, and don't take it from me, go back and do something you should have done before you brought me out here. Go read the facts, Bob. Those are the facts, too. Well, <laughs> no, this guy Keith is a little upset. Why? I think you guys are uh, great usually. But you guys are really showing your ignorance and what kind of white trash you really are. The interview you are loving makes your hero look like a retard and did not get the better of Costas. Oh, I mean, okay, he's a Come Costas fan. The Costas point you are making is so wrong. I wish I could correct you, but you wouldn't get it. Yeah, that's right. Another one, Keith. We, wouldn't, we couldn't understand your uh, intelligence, I guess. What, we're, making our hero look like a retard? No, it's making Vince look like Vince, and that's what we're loving. Whether he comes off looking like a retard or not, he made Bob Costas look like a pussy jerk-off. He is what he is. He's real. Yeah. Bob Costas looked like a phony. Nick, what's going on? Nick, Yo, Nick, yeah, I don't know how you guys can get off going off on Costas and all these other guys. Right. Yeah, I love you guys to death, but you're... Oh, come on. Don't curse. Don't we'll let curse. you talk. I'm sorry. All right. Hey, you know, and Nick, let me explain something about our show. We don't. You don't have to agree with everything we say or do. Yeah, I hear you. We're not here trying to convince you guys. We're just giving our opinions. We thought Vince uh, looked great last night and Bob Costas looked like a tool. Oh, I think he made him look like a tool, too, because Costas shouldn't have Vince on. All right. It's two totally different fields. All right, so what's your problem? Because you're cursing at us here. What's wrong? Uh, I'm just pissed because just the whole XFL thing, you know, I don't know. You guys are sports entertainment or entertainment, right? We're entertainers. We, we more, like more like a Vince McMahon type. Ah, that's part of what we are, sure. Part of what you are. And then going into the XFL and football, I don't know how you guys take that. You know, I hated the XFL, you know, mm. and I'm 17, so. Right. And I, I sort of fit in the demographic that they have there. So but, be, because of the XFL, we should hate uh, Vince and what he stands for? I, mean, I think it was a great opportunity, you know, but what the, I don't know. I definitely. What, our participation in the XFL? Yeah, we were hosting a show. Yeah, I, I agree. It, but we didn't look it, we didn't look it, that bad. It, yeah, it, it was fun. It really what the hell? Why not just go do something for the fun of it? Nick, I'm trying to understand your point. Yeah, what's the point? What are you trying to say? Uh, I don't know. You should just stop playing ping pong, basically. Uh, all right. Thanks, Nick. On you. Ethan. Okay. <laughs> we're just about done. This is too good, though. What? It was funny. You watch Vince just making Costas all scared. I thought it was great. Contribute in some way to a lack of civility and maybe even perhaps to violence within society. I don't think it contributes to violence as far as a lack of civility. Now, I'm sure, knowing you, your definition of civility and mine are probably two different things. Perhaps. Okay. I, I, no, I bet on that one. Okay. <laughs> uh, I bet on that one. <laughs> And finally, one more clip, and then we'll move on. But uh, we were just so excited watching this. It was too good. I don't think that we in any way, you know, contribute to the violence. Violence, to, to me, is just what I've said. Guns and knives and rape and robbery and murder and that sort of stuff. Uh, we don't do that. What about degradation or objectification of women? 
um, generally speaking, if you stay with our storylines long enough, unlike you taking one little segment, okay, just to smear me, just, you know, just to absolutely smear me with this one thing, and thank you very much for that. That's a real class move on your part. <laughs> so when you take that, okay, and, and you do that. If I were to resort to your type of responses, it's interesting to see you lecturing somebody about class, but. No, no, what, I don't have class. <laughs> I'm saying you're a strange one to be delivering that lecture. Oh, I'm responding so in time to the show. So now you're me again, right? Sorry. Proceed. <laughs> no, no, proceed. You, you, know, you know what? This is the Bob Costas Interrupt Program, right? That's a characterization I think few would share, but it might work for you in this instance. It worked for me. I mean, take a look at the tape when you play it back. Right. How many times did Bob Costas interrupt Vince McMahon before he let him answer the question? Just to try to keep you on point. Go ahead. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man. That's pretty much it, right? Just the end. All right, these are real quick. Let's, let's end on this. Safe. We have to end. I'm having we, fun. We, we have to end. I'm enjoying it, too, but Bob Knight is waiting, yeah. and he deserves his time it's as Coach well. Knight. Coach Knight is waiting. <laughs> it's Coach Knight. Thanks, we've got to go. Oh, it's Thank too you. bad. I'm de this is such a delightful show, Bob. Thank, Thank you, you so I, much for having me on. I appreciate your coming on. Oh, it's a, Thank it's, you very it's much. delight. And there is more just ahead, my friends. Right there, he's squeezing his hand as hard as he can, I bet. <laughs> ah, whatever. There you have it, I guess. thought it was funny. I think people are, uh, some some people, uh, most of the people get what what's going on, but some people are getting the wrong idea. What? It's not like we're, we're rah rah behind Vince or anything. I found the interview entertaining. I thought it was funny. I thought it was Vince McMahon being Vince, which is funny. It has nothing to do with us being on XFL or associated with it in any way. I, I, I could give a crap. It was just funny to watch and to listen back to now. I, 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 I took great pleasure in seeing Bob Costas look like... A, yeah. You know? Right. Here's a guy that didn't do the basics and just, like, do research on, on the guest that's coming in. Yeah. That's all I'm trying to say. You know, we have careers without Vince McMahon. <laughs> Yeah, we don't we don't need to suck up to Vince McMahon. It's just he's he's it always comes across as very funny whenever he's on TV. No, why? Because he's brutally honest. Yeah, he doesn't hide behind things. Him going from trying to get his points across to Bob Costas to then them playing that clip. Take off your blouse. Get on your hands and knees like a dog. That's it. And then they come back, and it's like, okay, now that's the Vince that's in your head. Now he's trying to make his point. Now take your blouse off. Come on. Take it off now. <laughs> uh, Kevin, what's going on? How you doing? Over there. What's up? What's up? Uh, this guy that called before, he was talking about how, uh, you know, Bob Costas uh, is supposed to be talking about what he knows. Yeah. Uh, it's ridiculous. The guy goes on, and he tries to set him up set uh, Vince McMahon up, and Vince McMahon comes off, he's well-spoken, he knows what he's talking about, he has all the facts straight, and he just, it's the opposite. Yeah. You know, and I mean, I'm not even a big wrestling fan. I'm like from the old school wrestling, the old days with, uh, you know, uh, Bruno Sammartino. Yeah, and Bruno, all the old guys. Ivan and Pusky. I really don't watch this stuff today much, but I'll tell you, it's all melodrama, just like Vince said. It's and you, it's just for entertainment value, you enjoy it. And this guy tries to crucify him. Bob Costas made himself look like an ass. It's a soap opera, you know? Absolutely. It's, it's enjoyable to watch. I, I, I'm enjoying the storyline with Trish. I've been watching a lot, a lot more lately because of that. Yeah. So I, I'd like to watch it a little more if I had the time to get into it a little more. But, you know, I don't. But, I mean, it's still. It, take it for what it's worth. It's entertainment. You enjoy it. All right. That's it. You got there it. You take go. care, guys. Thank you. Bye. Bye. All right, we got to get to some other things, huh? Uh, Chris, real fast, we got to wrap this up here. First, you're dopey, and he's ain't funny. Uh, well, oh, God, two. that one. Chris. Wait a minute, dude, let me tell you something before you even move on. Chris, uh, we heard that one probably <laughs> seven years, seven years ago on in Boston. Come on. It, it is probably the oldest right. one out there. Let me if you get to my point, on. then, all right, because that was just absolutely awful. First of all, wrestling is the stupidest form of entertainment. I'm embarrassed for our country and the world to even All watch right. that crap. All right. It's Number ju two, it's junk food this TV. man skirted the topic. The fact that when you were a fan a long time ago, wrestling was focused on 
what kids could understand. Let me tell you, brother, I'm going to beat his ass. Whatever. That's what they talked about. Uh, now the people looking uh, out. Chris, Chris, can you know, I nakedness. Chris, 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 slow down. Okay. Right, I'm all excited. All right. I've been, I, I'm all worked up in the fast lane. I'm sorry. Right. I've, been, I've been watching wrestling my entire life. Don't ever, don't say it was, it, wrestling was ever for kids. Maybe the Hulkamania oh, stuff in a while. When I first started wrestling, those guys were bleeding like mother effers. Yeah, they were cutting bleeding, themselves. But that's not adult topics. That, you know, the first woman but you're walking saying, around with her breath hanging out, right. to me, was Elizabeth with the oh, Macho Man. But you said when, you know, wrestling back in its day was uh, meant for kids. I just gave you an example where I remember seeing uh, Bruno Sammartino and, and Chief J. Strongbow and these guys bleeding like crazy. That's wrestling. It wasn't so much as a soap opera, Mr. McMahon. So why it was more it... of wrestling and blood. Oh, and all right, hold on. Forever. Chris, Chris, why does Chris. it bother you, and why don't you just not watch it then? I, I don't, man. I just I like all the right. show, so and I don't ever, I'm embarrassed for my... For everyone I know that watches that dumb... Hold, hold on, you can't... Yeah, no her. cursing. But, 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 what, so why do you... You know something? The ratings, that I, I don't watch it uh, myself anymore, to tell you the truth. Right. But the thing uh, is, you... there's still a lot of people that are watching it. So who are you to, to say if you're embarrassed by him or you, know, uh, you, you don't? You guys are talking too so much, much about how he did well. I'm I... sorry, my cell phone's cutting out. I, know if, I don't know if I'm interrupting you, but do you think he interviewed so well? I think he skirted the issue to call it progression. Did we say it was a good interview by Vince or was it entertaining? Which said, God, yeah, listen to right. me. Was, we so said it was funny to listen guy. to. Bob Costas is poor little guy that was all scared. It, w it was funny to see Costas scared, and I, you know Vince also made some really good points. God, was it a great interview? Uh, probably not. Well, you know what, man? Right. I, I, I want to say you guys have a good show, and uh, that dumb joke earlier is weak. It was weak. You're, you're, have a good day. Thanks. He's, here's a guy. All right, let me tell you what he's all about. He's a parent now, and it's anytime he sees any sex on TV, he loves it because he's a guy. But he's all he's all engrossed in his kids. All you people with your children make me effing sick. We got all we got all now put what entertains adults away and take it off TV and radio and everything to to make it this into Barney Land or something. Put your kids in a friggin' closet and duct tape it shut or something. Get them out of my face. I don't have kids. I want porno on my TV. I want violent video games. I want violence on TV. And, and I don't want to be a uh, a. Uh, uh, I don't want to take it off because you had kids. Go screw. Take your Bob and yeah. Buy your Barney tapes and put them in your VCR. Stick your little drooling pee factories in front of it and let me watch my violence and sex. Bingo. I didn't decide for you to have kids so it could screw up my entertainment. I'm tired of it. America. Get on your hands and knees. I'm wondering what color panties you're wearing tonight. Right. <laughs> Put your kids in the closet and shut up. And two quick things. Uh, wrestling always had a soap opera element to it. Yeah. And there, it was always edgy. Right. Right from the beginning. Exactly. <laughs> Jerk off. Guys trying to say that it used to be for kids. Kids. Well, it, the tricks were for kids, too, and the rabbit got it occasionally. Right? Am I wrong here? <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> no, Dan from Hoboken, you're not getting me back on the Zola. <laughs> <laughs> more, uh, more violence and sickness going on with boxing than wrestling. Yeah. Something I'm sure Costa supports. And real life. Plenty of sex and violence going on in real life, on the news, on everything else. So what do you think? What do you think? They just put the sex and violence stuff on the news because it's, it's news and it's happening? They know what draws ratings in. What's that line from that 15 Minutes movie? If it bleeds, it leads. That's the, that, and that, what do you think? They made that up for a movie? I'm sure that's commonplace in all the news, all the news stations. If it bleeds, it leads. Nakedness, nudity, whatever. They love it on the news. Ass apps. <laughs> that was a great speech, Ann. Let's take a break, okay? We have to talk about uh, Henry Rollins coming in. Yeah, Henry's going to get into some of this stuff today with us. Yeah, he's somebody that has a unique take on life. <laughs> yeah, we'll get into that. He's 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 very interesting. Yeah.
Uh, Frank Caliendo coming in. Great comedian that does a lot of really funny impressions. You might remember him from his last uh, appearance on our show doing John Madden and Al Pacino and Adam Sandler and all that. He killed, and he's coming by to say hi. And we also have to talk about uh, musical dildo chairs, Anthony. Speaking of right. which, the winner of that will be going to WrestleMania in Houston. Yeah! <laughs> WrestleMania is going to kill this uh, this time around, and uh, it's going to be on pay per view. Okay, someone's mad at me. Why, Anthony? Put my kid in a closet. Violence and porn on TV. F you and goodbye. I'm done with your show, scumbag. <laughs> what language are you using? What if a child was walking by this computer? <laughs> and I didn't say just put him in. I said put him in and duct tape the door shut. <laughs> uh, hello. Yeah. Who's this? Jack. Hey, Jack. What's going on? I, I got to agree with Anthony. I, I, I'm embarrassed to say it, but you know, I'm a parent. I have two young kids, and my values have changed. Absolutely. I, I, I'm care, I'm careful about what I want my kids to grow up to. But so you have it's your job to make sure they don't say it. It's not your job to take it off for the people that decided not to have kids to, to take away their entertainment. Absolutely. And I I do traveling for business. I go on the road or I'm happily married. But as soon as I get to my hotel at night. First thing I put on is Spank Revision to see what porn I was going with, so I'm missing that out at home. Spank Revision. Well, you're doing your job, too. You're doing some parenting. And, and when I'm home, there's no porn in the house. I got rid of them a year ago. I, I had to cancel my Playboy in Penthouse. And she won't even let me get Maxim, which is kind of ridiculous, but... Uh, uh, wait a minute. You, oh, she won't? Wait, you can't even read Maxim? Well, uh, I can't get the subscription at home. She just... Oh, wow. See, women are responsible for this, too, people. I'm not going to let them off the hook. Absolutely. The men become so pussy-whipped, and, and a lot of them are very uh, into their kids and what they should see, but it's the women that get on the bandwagon and try to get it taken off the TV and everything else, like the PMRC and all that happy horse crap. Apusa! Apusa! The ones with the Apusa! <laughs> Go to the chronological. When I was dating my wife, I had Playboy, I had Penthouse, we lied in bed together. We admired the pictures. We even read the articles. There you we get go. engaged. We still have them. We get married. I still have them, but she gets pregnant. You know, maybe you want to stop renewing your membership you've had for the last 10 years. Oh, my um, God. I don't know about that, but what are you going to do? You're, well, I'm a tool now. I'm a freaking pussy whip tool. Oh, God. I'm a beaten man. <laughs> oh, do you drive a minivan, my friend? Oh, Christ. She wants to get pregnant again, and that's the next thing. Oh, oh minivan. <laughs> Once you're in that oh. minivan, it's over, Johnny. Ah. So it's dark. So it's yeah. dark. All right, bro. We'll let you go. Man. <laughs> what bastard. We'll let him go. Ross, what's going on? Hello? We're trying to take a break. This is the longest we've ever gone without a break. Ross. Yeah, man. I want to know why these stupid idiots in this wrestling world still try to pretend like it's real. Uh, no, I don't think anyone is. Uh, no, I think I mean, everyone maybe, knows it's entertainment. It's not entertainment, sports. but up until you know a couple of years ago, you know they always. No, they up try until to, about 15 years ago. They have all the secrecy around it. They try to protect all their stupid little storylines. It's like any like, other show on TV. You go, you turn on TV, you turn on uh, a, a soap opera like Vince was saying in the afternoon. What are you going to see? You're yeah. going to see sex. You're going to see rapes. You're going to see abductions, murders. That's part of the soap opera. That's storyline TV. And if they had that on wrestling, you think it would be better or worse? They have it on they wrestling. They have a lot of those they, elements. But what, what's no the murders, difference? There's no murder no, and no. rape on wrestling. No, they're, they're Vince oh, there you go. Made, you know, made sure he mentioned that. Thank you, uh, Ross. All right. Well, thanks a lot. All right. Uh, Lydia. Lydia. Yes. What's up? How are you guys? Hey. Well, you know, I, as far as this like, whole wrestling business is concerned and all that stuff, it's been around forever and ever. It's never going to go away. It's going to come back in different forms, no matter what it is. And you just take it for what it is. And it's yeah. going gonna to be here because the public wants to see exactly. it. Exactly. I mean, you know. This is what we want to see right. for whatever reason. Right. Because somewhere along like the line, the, uh, somewhere along the line, life got boring. Yeah, and we need we need this type of entertainment to get us through our days. Oh sure, something that where you're not going to even where you don't have to think at all. And it's not just the wrestling because a lot of people are like, oh, wrestling, I don't like it. It's a lot of other things that that you do in life that you you enjoy. Oh, if absolutely. you like looking at naked pictures, screw it. Why shouldn't you be able to? If it's, you like uh, the violent video games, 
Why shouldn't you be able to play them as an adult to go in? And if you're a kid, well, Anthony, your parents should keep uh, tabs on what you're playing if they have a problem with you playing those games. Anthony, I'll tell you why. The, I totally the violent agree video you. games are, yeah. are the reason why there's uh, school shootings. So. Oh, yeah, that's what it is. No, that's what the media sure. told me. So. Sure. I believe it. Well, take away the games then. Sure. Look, guys, I agree now. Guys, I'm a parent. Yeah. I have a two-year-old child. Yeah. And, of course, I want to, you know, keep certain things out of his way. And that's, you know, that's your job as a parent. Right, exactly. It's your job. My, mom, my, mom, my mom busted her ass to, to bring us up right. Right. But that doesn't I mean, we got some I wacky stories, but, but you know what? My mom did her, did her job, and she, she was a parent. Oh, sure. And she made some incredible sacrifices. But that doesn't mean that you have to take away things for yourselves as adults. Right, right. But, that's what, but that's what a lot of people want to do. No, they shouldn't do that. You know what? The thing is, is, is you want to you know, have discretion for yourself then. Yeah. You know what I mean? You don't want to look at porno? Then don't. You don't want to, you know, watch violence on TV? Then don't. Then the, shut it off. You have that right to do that. But don't take that away from other people that want that stuff. The people that have the biggest problems with this stuff are the people that are so hung up on it and so obsessed with it. When you get an activist that is so uh, against any kind of pornography, mm -hmm. any kind of nudity, uh, they are the people that are so hung up on it that they can't handle themselves. They go crazy. Right. So they assume that everyone acts like this and goes berserk when they see nudity, so they have to uh, take it all out of Times Square. Well, you know what the thing is? These are people that have never masturbated. <laughs> well, there you go. <laughs> Loosen up. Pop the cork. <laughs> okay. They've right, never Lydia. done it themselves, so why would they want to watch other people do it? Exactly. All right, Lydia, thank you. Sure. One more lady, and then we really got to take a break. Christina. <laughs> That's freaking out. Christina. Hi, guys. Hi. Um, I just wanted to say that I agreed with Anthony. Um, I'm only 22, and I don't have any kids yet, but I um, I grew up, and my dad had, you know, his thing of pornos and stuff, and I just think that the it's a huge, huge cop-out for, um, you know, people to, the huge activists who are trying to take away stuff, and I think there are a lot of people with deep-rooted issues who you know, are just looking for things to blame that, you know, realistically is their parenting skills. Yeah, it, th things like entertainment, I, I think entertainment uh, evolved into what it is because that's what people want. It exactly. wouldn't be, if people didn't want it, it wouldn't be here. Who the hell wants to see a Fred Astaire movie? Anyway? Yeah, who the, oh, I want to go to the movies and see a, a musical where people just break into song out of nowhere. No, I want to see action, I want to see some, uh, some smut. Exactly. I mean, I'm a female, and I like porn as much as my boyfriend. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, you know, I think that kids should definitely be protected from some stuff, but I think that banning it is not the answer. Uh, once the kid eating... slides down that fleshy water slide, it's all over. Oh, young. <laughs> you know what? Because by hiding it, you're creating a whole new slew of problems, you know? We the people will decide when we don't want to watch WWF oh, anymore. But you're going to start reading no. uh, but, uh, the preamble uh, to the Constitution. <laughs> but, we the people. But, but that's, how, that's what it is. It's, it's there because we want to see it. And if, yep. and, if an, uh, and if there's not enough people watching the WWF, guess what? It's going to go away. Just like anything else. All right, guys, take it easy. It's like XFL game day. There's not enough people watching, it'll go away. You know, you know why there's no doo-wop on the radio anymore? Because no one wanted to hear it anymore. Right. Just, it's just... Coming up next on Opie and Anthony, Jim Norton sings. Forget me not, your sightless taunt, your dog just shit on my rug. Thought that was pretty fucking funny, didn't you? How's that for a sketch? The Opie and Anthony Show. You don't do sketches, stupid. I was walking down the street, and some construction guy was shouting at me, Hey, show me your cans! So I did. And he plummeted 17 floors, and was impaled on a forklift. But my tits looked great! Please, while responsibly, a public service announcement of the Opie and Anthony Show. It's the O&A virus. <laughs>